Hey everybody, Jim Midnight Road Garage. Now if you're watching this video, you might be on the side of the road right now with a flat tire on your Silverado. So I'm gonna dive right in and show you how this is done. Now, if this video helps you out, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and uh, then when you get a chance, comment. Tell me your flat tire story, I'd love to hear it. All right, first thing we need to do is we need to get the tools out of the truck. Now they're gonna be under the rear seat and hopefully you're, you're pulled off onto the side of the road and you can get to them from the passenger side. We're gonna pop that seat up, pop the other seat up. We need to take this off right here. Now your under seat compartment might look a little bit different than mine. I have an aftermarket compartment, but tools are in the same place. We're gonna take that off, we're gonna take these off. Okay, this is your jack. Now, if you look, it's kind of not coming out. What you need to do is just counterclockwise on this red knob, and then it'll come right out. Okay, so we need those. Now, the rest of the tools we need are over here in this bag. So we're going to take this off. Now, I've already loosened it up just to save some time. Let me just take this bag, and we're going to put it right there as well. Okay, first up are these crazy looking items. And what these actually are is these are wheel chalks. I'm going to be changing this tire out. And you can see this is a spare tire that's actually on here. I'm going back to the original tire. So what we want to do is any other tire other than the one you're changing, any, any other tire, we're going to take these. You're just going to put it like that. And like that. Now again, these go on a tire you're not changing. Okay, with the wheel chocks in place, let's go ahead and take all the tools out of this bag. The first tool we're going to use is a lug wrench. What we want to do is just loosen the lugs. We're not taking them off at this time, but we are going to loosen them. My wheel here is a spare wheel, and even my regular wheel does not have a hubcap on it or any sort of uh, lug nut cover. But if you did have one, you could use this end to pry it off. Again, we're not taking them off yet. But we're going to loosen them because once this is in the air, you won't be able to loosen them. It does require some strength to get those loose. You could also try standing on them. Okay, now we've got the wheels chalked and the lug nuts are barely loose. We're going to take off the spare tire. That's right, we are not going to jack the truck up until we have that spare tire out of there. So we're going to need these two. They look like this, not not this one. We don't need this one yet. So just these two and our lug wrench. And we're gonna go around to the back of the truck. Spare tire is underneath the bed, and to get it out, we've got to open up this. Now, if you look inside there, mine has a lock, so I'm gonna take that lock out of there. Take the lock out, just put your key in, turn it clockwise, and pull. So we're gonna take this tool and just assemble it. Like so. This end, we're going to insert into that hole to get the spare tire out. And then on this end, we're just going to attach it to the, to the lug wrench like this. We'll use that as a crank. Okay, so now we're going to insert the rod. And as you can see, it goes in at a bit of an angle. Now you can crank counterclockwise to lower the tire. You can see as we crank counterclockwise, the tire's lowering to the ground. Once it hits the ground, keep cranking. Probably want to do about five more cranks, maybe six. That's going to allow us to pull the tire out. This piece right here, you can see it down there. You have to turn it sideways like this to get it out. Now when you're ready to put your spare tire back up, same thing. Like that. Alright, now let's get this spare tire out of here and get it on. Yeah, just a side note, the tire does go in upside down, not uh, right side up. So, makes it a little more difficult to get this in. But, same concept. Okay, so using the same tool that we used to take the spare tire down, what we need to do is add the final piece to it. So we're just going to put this in here, lock it in place, and now the jack tool is assembled. 
Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get the jack into place. I'm going to be doing the rear of the uh, of this truck, but I'm also going to show you the front. So right now I have it set up for the front. You can see there's the front tire. You can see the jack. See that red sticking out there? Now I'm going to go ahead and get underneath here. Okay, so for the front, you want the jack right underneath this right here. You can see that on the frame. See it on the frame? Let me just... Walk her back a little bit. It'll help you find it. It's right under the edge of the fender. There's the tire. There's the fender. And then just go back to the frame. All the way back here. And you want your jack to come up right underneath that. Alright, moving to the back. Okay, so if we're lifting up the rear tire, this is the position that we want to have the jack in. You can see it's right here. Here's the rear end. This is the shock bracket. You can see the shock over on the other side. And then you've got these giant U-bolts right here. And you want to, you want this to come up right here, right in between these two. And you can angle this off to the side so that you'll be able to crank on it from the side of the truck and not necessarily the back. So before you insert the jack tool, the easiest thing to do is just go ahead and crank it all the way up. You turn it clockwise and it hits the axle that way you know you're in the right place all right let's get this up in the air we're gonna go ahead and take the crank tool and make sure it's inserted right into the uh, into the red dial okay now if I haven't mentioned it already you really want this jack on pavement and on flat ground if you can find it I know you might be on a on a gravel shoulder or something like that right now but these bottle jacks are not safe, so don't go underneath the truck once this thing's in the air, for sure. No matter what surface you're on, do not go underneath the truck once this thing's in the air. All right, let's go ahead and crank this thing uh, clockwise and get it up in the air. All right, just crank until she's up. All right, it looks like we're off the ground. Now you're going to go ahead and take your lug wrench off of here. Go ahead and leave that connected. Okay, remember we loosened these already. So now we can just spin them off. I'm using the step in the bedside to Put the lug nuts so I don't lose them. Now, if you had a four way in your truck, this would probably be a little bit faster. In addition to a four way, an impact also speeds things up. But I assure you, it is not necessary. to have an impact to change a tire. I change this one on the side of the road using only the tools that Chevrolet provided. All right, now we're just gonna pull the tire off and roll it out of the way. Now, in your case, you're putting the spare on. In mine, I'm putting the original wheel back on. All right. I'm going to get two on on the opposite sides. Then go ahead and tighten them down. Once you've gotten to this point, and you've got at least two lug nuts on here, it's a whole lot safer now. If the vehicle falls off the jack or anything like that, at least this tire is going to support it. Again, make sure you don't take your feet and put them underneath the tire or anything like that at, at any point ever. Alright, 
let me get the rest of these lug nuts on. As you can see, all the lugs are on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back under the jack tool so I can lower it all the way down, and then I'm going to tighten all the lug nuts again. All right, we're just going to put this on here, and we're now going to go counterclockwise to let the jack down. It's down. Jack tool on there pretty good. You can just pull it out using the jack tool. So now we just need to make sure that we've got all the lug nuts on tight before you head on down the road. So remember how hard they were to take off? That's how hard they need to be on. You don't have a torque wrench, so you don't really know, but you want to put it on and lean on it. We're going to go to star pattern. Lean on it real good. If you're lightweight, which I'm not, you're going to want to really push hard on it. All right. That's all of them. Okay, so I know if you're on the side of the road right now, you're ready to uh, get going. But take a moment to make sure that you picked up all your tools. You don't want to leave any of this stuff behind and then not have it the next time you get a flat. And after getting two flats in one week, I can tell you losing this would have been bad. So you get your jack, your lug wrench, these three pieces right here that go together. Don't forget your wheel chocks. Remember, you probably put them underneath one of your other tires that you weren't working on. They might still be there. So make sure you got that. And then, of course, your bag and the uh, thing to put it on. And also, don't forget, if you've got a, a wheel lock, you know, spare tire wheel lock, make sure you've got that. I need to put this back on. Anyways, uh, if you're on the on the side of the road, good luck with your travels. And uh, for everyone else, I'll tell you the story of my flat tire. So it's really not that exciting, but uh, as you can see here in these photos, I got a bolt in my tire. And uh, what I tried to do was uh, I had stopped, saw the bolt, said, "Yeah, uh, that that needs a patch, not a plug." So let me see if I can make it to a tire place so they can patch it. Uh, I did not make it to a tire place. Uh, I ended up, uh, the bolt ended up coming, coming out a couple miles down the road. Um, and it happened, I, I went through a pothole. And when I came out of the pothole, I, I heard the tire making noise. That's why I pulled over. It was making a, uh, it was making a clicking noise and it was that metal hitting the ground. So anyway, I ended up uh, you know, changing the tire on the side of the road. And then uh, took that tire and got it uh, patched. When I went and picked the tire up, leaving the tire place, uh, I, I picked up another. I picked up a screw this time. Now, uh, that screw, I, I actually just plugged that one. That was the front tire. And if you click there for the video of that, you can see how I plugged the tire. It's really cold, time for me to get back inside. I will see you guys down the road.